ABC. Bully in disguise and special memories, Monday on WNEP. WNEP TV 16, the news station. Now, live from the news station, this is News Watch 16. WNEP TV proudly presents the News Watch 16 team, the number one source of news and information in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. This is News Watch 16 at 11. You've shown the world the heart of America, a heart of compassion and a heart of courage. One month after the crash of TWA Flight 800, a community gathers to remember 21 of their own. That's our top story tonight on Newswatch 16 at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Farrell. Nearly 3,000 people gathered in Montoursville today, all to mourn the loss of 16 students and five chaperones. Music, prayers, and tears all filled the football stadium at Montoursville Area High School. Tonight, Newswatch 16's Tom Burnett has the story. Somber sounds of bagpipes began the memorial service for the local victims who died in the crash of Flight 800. About 3,000 people came to the Montoursville High School Stadium all to share their grief and support one another. Everyone here shares one thing in common, heavy hearts over the loss of so many special people. Help us to live with our grief. Death has taken our beloved. Our faith is shaken. Our minds keep asking, why does joy end in sorrow? For some, the questions may never be answered, but many here say faith and prayers will carry them through. There was time for prayer. Give us comfort and give us courage. And time for singing. A poem was read by the mayor of Montoursville. It was written by a person from Philadelphia who wanted to reach out to those full of grief and sadness. Memories will soon bring smiles to our tears, overpowering those feelings that sometimes capture our minds. Reach deep into your heart for peace and contentment. And the Montoursville High School Band played a tribute. While many of the people here have had a hard time fighting back the tears, some say just being together has helped the healing process. Tom Burnett, Newswatch 16, Montoursville. Meanwhile, Montoursville Mayor John Doran says today's memorial service was another step in the community's healing process. Many in attendance today agreed. I thought it was a good service. It, you know, it affected a lot of people, not just Montoursville, as they said, and it just, I thought it was a good way to remember him. I got that now my friends aren't really gone from me, but they're still a part of me inside. It was very uplifting. It showed that people were so loving and caring, and the whole world really thinks a lot of everyone. I think uh, a lot of people have really learned to love a lot more through all of this, I think. Another area victim of last month's deadly crash of the TWA plane has been found. The body of Amy Miller was identified yesterday. Her body was recovered by search crews off the coast of Long Island. Miller is from Andreas. She and her husband, Kyle, were heading to Paris to celebrate a wedding anniversary. Meanwhile, 25 people from our area died in the TWA crash last month. Only one of their bodies has yet to be found. One month after the crash, investigators still don't know what caused the TWA plane to blow up. While crews brought up more wreckage from the ocean floor, investigators started questioning passengers who flew on the Athens to New York flight before Flight 800 headed to Paris. So far, only half of the 747 has been recovered. Investigators have not ruled out the possibility that the crash was caused by a bomb, a missile, or a mechanical malfunction. One person is dead after a head-on crash today in Luzerne County. 68-year-old Grant Tillou of DuPont died after the crash this afternoon in Exeter. His passenger, 52-year-old Mary Tillou, is now in guarded condition at Wilkes-Barre General Hospital. The driver of the other car, 37-year-old William Schaefer of Pittston, was flown to Geisinger Medical Center. He's now in serious condition after that head-on crash in Luzerne County. Another man is dead after a motorcycle accident in Center County. 19-year-old Curtis Farwell of Belfont was driving his motorcycle when he reportedly lost control and hit an embankment. Police are still investigating that accident in Center County. A Schuylkill County man is behind bars tonight, charged with shooting at two brothers. 
38-year-old Dennis Snyder faces a number of charges stemming from a late-night shooting in Schuylkill County. Snyder is being held on $300,000 bail. 36-year-old Paul Kalna is at Hershey Medical Center after being shot in the back. 27-year-old Arlen Kalna is at Pottsville Hospital with gunshot wounds to both the shoulder and leg. Another Schuylkill County man is behind bars tonight, charged with attempted homicide. Police tell us 36-year-old Mark Berry of Pine Grove went to a house in Joliet. We're told when he got there, Barry pushed his wife to the floor and fired at her head, just missing her. After a struggle, residents say they stopped Barry from firing again. Police arrested Barry at his house in Pine Grove a short time later. He's now being held on $100,000 bail. An 11-month-old baby is hospitalized tonight after a dog attacked him. The attack happened in Shikshini this afternoon. We're told the baby was playing near the dog's food dish. That's when the dog bit him, injuring his eye. Neighbors say the family was watching the dog for a friend at the time. Tonight, we don't know what will happen to the dog. A Scranton man is locked up tonight, accused of raping a 16-year-old girl. Police say it happened around 11 last night while the victim was babysitting in Scranton. 23-year-old William Panko was arrested later at his home. He's now charged with rape and assault charges. Meanwhile, Scranton police are looking for a man who viciously assaulted another person along a Scranton city street this morning. Police say the victim was walking home along Kressler Court when another man came up to him and beat him up. The suspect reportedly kicked, punched, and slammed the victim's head into the pavement. Police say they have an idea who attacked the victim, but so far no one has been arrested after that morning assault in Scranton. Well, people got out to enjoy the weather today. Coming up on Newswatch 16, find out why these people were working in the water in one area. Plus, thousands of people head to the airport to get a first-hand look at some very unique flying machines. But first, Joe Snedeker joins us now in the backyard with the weather. How about it, Joe? You got it, Jeff. Cool and dry in the backyard right now, but when you uh, see a shirt like this on me, loud, ugly, colorful, you know the weather's going to be nice, and indeed it will be. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you how nice it's going to be over the next few days. You're watching Newswatch 16 at 11 here at WNEP-TV. We're so proud to serve Montandon, and I love Union County. You're watching News Watch 16 with the number one weather team in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. I look ridiculous. Come on, someone has to go across the street to the Ford dealership and get the details on their factory authorized clearance. And you are our man. <laughs> Woman, funny. Give me my purse. <laughs> Find out about Ford's factory authorized clearance at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Cash back on Windstar. Now, get $1,500 cash back on Ford Windstar, rated highest in a recent safety test. What's going on? I got a run in my stocking. Cash back and rear air conditioning and no extra charge during Ford's factory authorized clearance. When the tire store guy says, just $49.99, ask him if that's the real price or their succulent price. Yeah, they'll sell you one price, then charge you extra for valve stems, balancing, putting the tires on your car. Like, where did they think I was going to put them? Hey, go to Jack Williams for out-the-door pricing. It's the total price, everything. No extras ever. Look, ask if they have out-the-door pricing. If they say, nope, tell them where to go. Jack Williams. Experience the Williams way today. The word is out on Boscov's He Said, She Said sale. He said $19.99 for bum equipment sweatshirts. She said $19.99 for bum and a spring sweatshirts. He said $29.99 for Levi's Relax Fit Jeans. She said $29.99 for my Levi's, plus bonus coupon savings. They both said NFL logo team fleece and jerseys on sale. Choice plaids for $12.99. Great. She had the last word, $15.99 for Jordache jeans at all Boscov's. It's here. Let me feel it. The new LX5 626. I want to test it. Customized by Mazda. I want to hold it in my hand. With air, cruise control, cassette stereo, power windows and locks, and more. $16,895. Or lease for $229 with $999 down. I'm never gonna let go. Mazda 626 LX5. I got a passion for the road. Some Wilkes-Barre City employees spent the day working in the water. Workers fixed up Solomon's Creek. They repaired creek walls while maintaining the creek bed. They also spent the day patching up areas damaged by the January floods. Newswatch 16 found the crews near South Franklin Street today. Crews plan to trim or remove trees where roots are weakening the retaining walls. In two weeks, workers will move to Laurel Run Creek near Plains. Good day to do that kind of work. And in terms of weather, it was absolutely gorgeous out there. Perfect day. 
for the first day of the air show. Joe Seneca joins us now in the backyard with hopefully some good news about the weather. How about it, Joe? Yeah, it's only going to get better. Kind of boring for us weather guys. Uh, George <laughs> and I were just talking about Christmas of all things, right? Christmas? <laughs> I don't want to think about that just yet. He's going to dress up as Santa Claus this year. He's, he's got everything it takes. I want to say hi to all my friends, uh, pears and spares in Plymouth. Thanks for coming on up. I gave them a tour. Also, Brian and Lori from Dansville, New York, right? right. Uh, George's buddies. But it's a beautiful evening. Might as well say hi to everyone because there's nothing weather-wise to talk about. Boring, boring, boring. Let's check out some numbers right now. In the backyard, it's not exactly shorts weather, but what the heck. Temperatures in the 60s, 65 right here. Humidity up there, 80%. The only thing we can talk about overnight tonight is some fog forming. Be careful of that if you're heading out anywhere tomorrow morning. Winds east at 3, very light in the barometer, 30.12 and going up. We had a good looking sunset, and yes, we caught it on RoboCam just for you. Today's high was 80, the low 60. The average is 80 and 60. <laughs> When's the last time that happened? It was just a, a normal average day in August. The last inch of snow we measured here in our backyard was April the 7th. That was Easter. Easter Sunday, the last time we had an inch of snow or more here in our backyard. Our weather watcher, as a part of our weather watcher network, checking in from Doug uh, Hassenbein, yeah, in Frackville, courtesy of his mom, Mary Jo. Mostly clear there in 62 degrees. Doug was at a track meet, and I hope you did good. Yes, indeed, the live scan you know what's on it nothing so let's get this thing out of here and let's go right to the satellite picture remember this thing here yesterday Whew, yeah that's yesterday's front pushed on through some showers thunderstorms hail the works yesterday but it's kind of calm and tranquil right now because the front has gotten caught up out here the rains are stuck in the midwest high pressure rules the roost and it's going to kind of spiral right in and it's not going to go very far let me show you what i mean for the next 24 hours, taking us right through Sunday. Tomorrow looks really good. Temperatures in the 80s. Humidity bearable. Light wind. Sunshine all day because of this guy. Thank you, man. Let me shake your hand. The upper level winds, two, three, four miles up, are being diverted. We call this a ridge. Thanks to this little tough guy here. That's good news. And you know what? That ridge isn't moving much as we uh, look ahead into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Boring weather pattern, our stick man fell asleep, high pressure in charge, the barometer high, and my goodness, it's so boring, you don't even need me anymore, I'm getting out of here, I'm, I'm, no, I'm back, I'm back, you need me, it's going to be nice right through probably next Tuesday, Wednesday, next chance of showers comes, probably late Wednesday or Thursday, but it's going to be dry and beautiful until then, here's the forecast for your backyard overnight tonight, some fog and then partly sunny and boring tomorrow, temperatures in the 80s tomorrow morning, Upper 50s to low 60s. Up north we go. Temperatures tonight in the 50s. Strong sun and a weak wind and 82 degrees after some fog to start your day. Okay, George? Right. Eastern mountain region, we've got sunshine and moderate humidity. It's not going to be bone dry or oppressive, much like today with a little bit uh, more in the thermometer, 84 degrees. Lehigh Valley temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. The sun is equivalent now to what it's like in late April, so it's getting weaker and weaker, but it's still kind of strong. Out west we go in Williamsport, some fog, and then some sunshine all day, 85 degrees. <laughs> sun coming on up tomorrow just after 6 and going down. You'll see it all day at 7.59. Oh, my goodness, we've made it into the 7 o'clock hour now. I'm getting depressed. Let me show you the extended forecast. It's going to put a smile on your face. What you see is what you'll see all week, the sunshine. It's going to get humid, however, and temperatures are going to be in the 80s right through the period. Stare at it. That's all I can offer is sunshine until showers move in in the middle and late part of next week. Enjoy. That's hard to complain about that forecast, isn't it? Yes, it is. We deserve it. All right, Joe. Thank you very much. Okay, see ya. Well, if you're thinking about taking off... Straight ahead, we'll fly right into a truly uplifting high-speed event. Anytime you see news happening in Carbon County, call our news tip hotline at 1-800-533-NEWS or in Carbon County, dial star 1616 on your wireless one network cellular phone. You're watching News Watch 16, the only station with Skycam 16, getting you the story live, closer, and faster. Dodge Ram is number one in resale versus Ford, Chevy, and GMC. Number one in available horsepower. Number one in available torque. Even available payload and overall power. 
In fact, Dodge Ram is number one in more categories than any full-size pickup. So we'd like to thank every one for making Dodge pickups number one in sales growth all across America. During the Dodge Summer Clearance, get up to $14.57 in package value discounts on Dodge Ram. In my perfect world, there'd be no tears, no tantrums, no grape juice stains, no scary monsters under the bed, and most of all, there would never be any pain. But reality isn't perfect. Illness and accidents happen. That's why I'm glad there's Telenurse from Geisinger Health Plan. It's a toll-free, 24-hour hotline I can call for medical advice. Oh, I'll still worry, but it's comforting to know Geisinger is always there to help. The Oval Office. If it were Bob Dole sitting here, he would have already cut Medicare $270 billion. Toxic polluters off the hook. No to the Brady Bill. 60,000 criminals allowed to buy handguns. Slashed education. President Clinton stood firm and defended our values. But next year, if Newt Gingrich controls Congress and his partner, Bob Dole, enters the Oval Office, there'll be nobody there to stop them. The story you are about to hear is true. It was Saturday. I got up late, drove Kathy to work, had an urge to buy a lottery ticket on the way back, so I stopped at the Giant Eagle. I bought a ticket, scratched it in the car. Couldn't believe it, $1,000 a week for life. Stuffed it down the front of my shirt. I didn't even trust my pocket. I called Kathy at my mom's Happy house. Bird. I won $1,000 a week for life. We won? Believe me. <laughs> Next time on Really what? Real Winners, a man from Erie gets rich. This year's air show at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport is off, well, to a booming success, literally. Beyond all the planes, and there are plenty of planes, there are the people. The roar of planes cannot be missed if you're anywhere near the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport this weekend. There are small planes and big planes, acrobatic planes and military planes. It's often said and often overused that an event has something for everyone. But this time, they're not kidding. Terrific, terrific. Best way I could figure out to spend $9. Walt Strausser is a first-time visitor to this annual air show. He's one of the 80,000 people expected to pass through the gates over the two-day event to see the spectacle of flight. And to him, some of the flights are just that, a spectacle. I don't know, it's just great. Them guys must believe in God. That's all I gotta say. For other people, this is not their first air show here. Just the same, the excitement of the planes in flight is enough to draw them back. It's really cool. I, I really like airplanes and everything. I want to go to the airports when I grow up, so I really like it. The air show is far from just a local event. People and their families often travel from out of the area, some of them every year for the show. Uh, it's just aviation bugs. I'm a pilot. My wife is getting interested in it, so uh, I've been dragging her to these things for years, so she finally, you know, now she likes it. Anyone who missed the show on this first day, well, the gates are open on Sunday at 9 in the morning. And if you do have a flight out of the airport, we're told flights won't be affected. Looks like a lot of fun. Well, the boys of summer are getting ready tonight in Williamsport. Coming up, Jim Coles sets up Monday's Little League World Series schedule. And pennant fever heats up in Major League Baseball. The highlights are straight ahead. Plus, the latest endeavor by one maker of men's underwear is quite daring. Find out why astronauts and cosmonauts will be interested in the outcome. You're watching Newswatch 16 and the highest rated sports team in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. What's up? That's the Ford guys. They've started a factory authorized clearance. If only there was a way to find out what's really going on. It's Ford's factory authorized clearance at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. For a limited time, get a 1997 Ford F-150 for only $187 a month for 24 months. Why don't we just mark our cars down as low as the Ford guys have and get some of our customers back? Because we go out of business. That's 187 for a 97 F-150 during Ford's factory authorized clearance. How can you tell if a vehicle's wheels are out of alignment? <laughs> Might I suggest you ask these questions. Does the vehicle shimmy or pull like this cart? You feel the vibration in the steering. If you answered yes, bring your car to the Midas Auto Systems experts for a thorough inspection of your alignment system. They'll correct the problem and get your car back to you the very same day. That way, you still have time to get to the store. Midas Auto Systems experts. What can we do for you today? 
They have three different restaurants and a private beach. I don't understand how you do it. You always manage one more vacation than we do. Well, we'll let you in on a little secret. The paper shops? But how? We just pick out a few things we haven't used in years and list them for sale in the paper shop. There's nothing to lose. You advertise for free and pay a small fee when you sell. I think I'll go home and clean out our attic, then call the paper shop and use the extra money for our next vacation. Now a weekly publication. Paul Hogan's on a test drive right now, so he asked me to tell you about Subaru all-wheel drive days, where you can get how would Paul say it? A, a rip -a deal on any 96 all-wheel drive Subaru, like the Legacy Sedan, the Impreza Coupe, or the amazing Outback. Something you'd like to add, Paul? Check out the full line of all-wheel drive cars from Subaru, including my Outback. Hurry. Subaru all-wheel drive days end soon. Right, Paul? Paul? Anybody seen Paul? Jim Coles joins us now with sports, and at this point, it does not look like the Red Barons are really going to make the playoffs the way they're playing. No. They're, they're not winning the close games. No. The bullpen is faltering. They're not getting enough starting pitching, and they don't really have any kind of big thumpers in the lineup. I, I know it sounds like they yeah. have nothing, but they do have some guys that get on base, and the Red Barons in the middle of a critical three games in Rochester. Scranton Wilkesbury dropping game one yesterday by a final score of 6-5. to five. That puts the Wings one game ahead of Scranton Wilkesbury going into tonight's action. Got a Wilkesbury had a three-run lead tonight, but blew it. Your final score is 7-4. The Wings take it. Joe Hall, Domingo Martinez with back-to-back -back doubles in the seventh. Break it open in the New York Penn League. Williamsport falls to Jamestown 17-2. Big League Softball World Series. Williamsport, the 94 champions, versus Antelope Valley. And the California team taking a 2-0 lead in the sixth. Kelly Reed doubles off the baggie in right center. Val Seeker settles down after then. Then Williamsport down to the last out rallies. Cheryl Godfrey doubles over third, putting runners on second and third, tying run on second, winning run at the plate. It's Charity Forge, and she hits a squibber to second. Second baseman gets, botches it, and somehow gets the out at first base. Forge takes a tumble. Williamsport comes up a little short. Antelope Valley frolicking to the victory. Your final score, two to nothing. You know, a few weeks ago, the Yankees hit a speed bump. No problem, as long as the Orioles were scuffling. But now the O's are hot. And the Yanks can't get it going. They had a 12-game lead. It's down to five and a half. Coming into today, Kenny Rogers didn't give up any home runs in batting practice. And then in the game, second batter, 2-0. Alex Rodriguez, home run number 28. The Yanks, well, they were down big in the third. Jay Buhner, home run number 35. Ken Phelps did not homer in this game. Nice trade, George. And then Ken Griffey Jr. in after Rogers is mercifully yanked. Junior number 37, Yanks are now 17 and 20 against left-handers. Seattle, yep, they did the Macarena over the Yankees 10 to 3. The Birds bidding for their fourth straight win in Oakland. Ariel Prito with four hit ball for eight plus innings. He strikes out Chris Hoyles. Terry Steinbach was in an 0 for 17 slump. No more, make it one for 18. The home run number 29 of the season for the catcher. Mark Akers called up and gets the job, getting Cal Ripken Jr. to pop out to end the game for the save. And the win, Oakland takes it 3-1. to one. In the American League, Cleveland doubles up on the Tigers, 6-3. to three. Roger Clemens, first shutout in 28 months. The Bo Sox, 6-zip. Chicago, just in, winning 6-2 to two over Milwaukee. Minnesota, big over the Jays, 11-1. And Kansas City, 4, Texas, 1. National League, baseball has been very, very good in Monterey, Mexico. The Padres, home while the Republican convention wraps up. In the first inning, the Mets' Edgardo Alfonso with a base hit in New York to a one nothing lead. Bad baseball. Watch Lance Johnson running with the pitch. Bernard Gilkey swinging. Lance doesn't know where the ball is, so he runs back. But Greg uh, Vaughn overruns the play in left, and Johnson comes around to score just like they diagrammed it. Well, that's not American League Baseball or National League Baseball, but it's baseball nonetheless, and the Mets do get the win. Final score, 7-3. St. Louis, one game behind Houston in the NL Central. As the day began, they hosted the Marlins. Gary Gaetti going deep. The only question is, is it deep enough? Devon White says, says, you have the ball? Yes, it's an out. Ron Gant later on goes very deep with a man on, and... Devon White or no one's going to get this one. The guy in the stand says, I got it, but he got it in the bounce. It doesn't count. 3 0 St. Louis. It's 3 3 in the eighth. With two outs, pinch hitter Royce Clayton singles in Luis Alisea, and the Cardinals win it 4 3. In the National League, Barry Bond to the three run homer in the first, and the Phillies fall to the Giants 8 4. Houston loses, so they're tied with the Cardinals in the central. The Cubs take it 12 3. Cincinnati wins game 1 5 3 over the Rocks. They are leading 8 4 in the nightcap in the eighth. 
Atlanta wins over Pittsburgh 7-1. Klesko going deep. And the Dodgers off to a 3-0 lead over the Expos in the first. You know, through the first two exhibition games, we've been able to pick up a couple of things about the New York football giants. Their offense is poor. Their defense is just awful. Let's see if things improve in game three. The Giants and Jets meeting in the swamp. The Meadowlands. Keyshawn Johnson's first catch of his NFL career. Okay, it's exhibition ball, but it still was like $500,000 per catch. Neil O'Donnell, of course, the savior for the Jets. Here he gets sacked by the only good defensive player the Giants have, Mike Strahan. Yeah, with a field goal battle, the Jets do pull out a win. Final score, 13-6. Cowboys and Broncos. Why preseason games are just worthless? Because if you lose a good player like Emmett Smith, you shouldn't even have played the game. Emmett gets all tangled up. The Cowboys go down to defeat 20-3 to Dallas. Elsewhere, the Steelers win. So do the Buffalo Bills and the Green Bay Packers. Highlights not that important. The Gasket 200 from Brooklyn, Michigan. On lap 32, Chad Little trapped by Todd Bodine. And that's Randy LaJoy on the inside, sees what's happened, and then slips down, somehow avoids Bodine. Six laps from the finish. Jeff Green runs out of gas. That's some kind of an excuse on a date. He really did run out of gas. Jeff Purvis takes the checkered flag, and he is your Gasket 200 winner. And the PGA International Tournament, where you earn points for eagles and birdies, lose points for bogeys, or anything worse. But what do you do about hitting out of a t-shirt? Paul Goidos almost gave it a try. He, he's at plus 21. Brad Faxon at plus 24's leader. Michael Bradley, one point behind him. So we'll know more about Emmett Smith. I think that was the biggest thing. I, I don't ever watch preseason football games. Maybe the first quarter to see how some of the rookies or some of the guys are doing. But after that, and now you know why they don't even want to play exhibition games. Guys get hurt, they don't want to play them. But at the same time, this is the third time Dallas has been blown out in the preseason. I really am a little concerned being a huge Cowboy fan. Without Emmett, there's a major concern. You're right. All right, Jim. Thank you very much. Well, a new rocket is heading into orbit. Coming up on Newswatch 16, see why this special flight gives new meaning to the term high-rise breeze. But first, here are tonight's lottery numbers. The daily number, 137. The big four, 1809. And the Pennsylvania Keystone Jackpot, 1, 3, 5, 11, 27, 33. And the key ball number is 32. Good luck if you play. You're watching News Watch 16, the number one station in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania for 20 years. The new Dodge, new Dodge. It's about change. The new Dodge. It's breaking rules and making new rules. The new Dodge. If we violate the laws of physics, will we be punished? The new Dodge. It's about change. The new Dodge. It's your period. So what's it gonna be? Headaches, backaches, killer cramps, big time bloating, we're everything. Good thing Pamperin has two pain relievers plus an ingredient for bloating to relieve them all. Get Pamperin, way beyond pain relief. Period relief. She wants to play. Can't with this pain. Pain. Time for Icy Hot, huh? Icy and Hot Therapy for pain. Icy to dull pain in seconds. Hot to relax it away for hours. Pain's gone, huh? Watch. Icy and Hot Therapy for pain. What's up, Sandy? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Jennifer. Hi. What's up, Linda? Hey, guys. Huh. Hey, you know there's anything kind of different about the girls this semester? Yeah. They're all wearing that Pepsi stuff. Huh. Now, drink a lot of Pepsi. Collect a lot of points. Get a lot of cool stuff. I love this school. Uh -huh. <laughs> now look for specially marked packages with double Pepsi bonus points, and you'll get more Pepsi stuff even faster. Friendly's always has something good in store for you. Now you can have a half gallon of Friendly's ice cream or yogurt for only $1.99 with the purchase of any one of our dinner entrees, like our new stir-fry dinners, our new Salisbury steak, the chicken pot pie, the clam boat dinner, the Monterey chicken, or the new pork loin dinner. Enjoy your meal and then take home any half gallon for only $1.99. There's always a happy ending at Friendly's. Newswatch 16 closed captioning is brought to you by Ricardo's Market. And finally tonight, well, we'll keep this story about some record-breaking boxer shorts brief. The Joe Boxer underwear rocket will head into orbit soon. Now, when the rocket heads bottoms up into orbit, 
one pair of Russian underwear, along with one pair of American underwear, underwear, will be ejected into the atmosphere. Scientists don't know how long it will take the boxer shorts to fly back to the ground, but they do think it will be a snappy way to launch a new underwear advertising campaign. Anything for advertising. And that's it for Newswatch 16 at 11. Thanks for joining us tonight. For the team, I'm Jeff Farrell. Join Newswatch 16 tomorrow morning at 6 for the latest news and weather. Until then, have a good night.